Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have arrived one more time. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the evening scripture study. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in this Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the evening scripture study on his 12th day in February 2020, y'all. Uh, let's get ready. Let's get ready to get it in. Let's get ready to get it in. Gotta figure it out. Let's try to build from here. Let's try to build from here. So let's go to, let's go to Psalms 34. Psalms 34. Psalms 34. Hmm. 34 and 1. <clears throat> Nicole, good to see you on. Matty Yahoo, what's up with it, man? Uh, Big Mark in the building, Al Mal. Y'all, let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Psalms 34. <clears throat> Look what it say. Uh, battle, battle. Good to see you on. Quick prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Homies know how. Believing you at your word. Living our life according to your word. We've been called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Through your word, by your word. Now sanctify us by your word. And we give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the master's name of Yahushua, we only pray hallelujah and amen. Um, Psalms 34, 1. Look what it says. It says, I will bless Adonai, our Elohim, our Eloheinu, right? I will bless yeah, at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I, I will bless Yah, Yahuwah, Yahweh. <clears throat> At all times. And his praise. Shall continually be in my mouth. Good to see you on Teresa. The necessity of an attitude of gratitude. It's necessary um I don't know how many of y'all been in a bad relationship but you were so in love you said please don't leave me because to be honest with you if you've been there you ain't got no excuses with dealing with the most high because you're not in a bad relationship with the Most High. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, folks' flesh don't appreciate the relationship with the Most High. Because all the flesh want to do is have his cake and eat it too. That evil nature we're trying to escape. But we wouldn't be telling the truth if we claim to be in a bad relationship with the Most High. He's on a rescue mission. And if you ever been in a bad relationship, but you were so stuck in the relationship, no matter how bad it was, last thing you wanted to happen was for them to leave you. The power of what folks think is love. An attitude of gratitude is necessary 
in order to have a relationship with the most high to, to, to the point that you're willing to endure not only good times, but bad. Alvin Jones, good to see you on, man. But for a person to be willing to go through the ups and the down with their creator, the ups and the downs with their creator, exemplifies a true relationship. Because again, it's not it's not predicated on uh, natural blessings. Is predicated on relationship. You mess around and start spending time with the Most High, you'll build a relationship with Him. You start praying uh, 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 to Him, meditating His Word both day and night. You'll find out that through the relationship is what causes you to become like that tree planted by the rivers of water. Because a tree planted by the rivers of water, roots go inside of the water, and they got constant nourishment. It's constant contact which supplies constant nourishment. Old taste and see, it went on to say. But when you're in constant contact with the Most High, you can't do nothing but fall in love with Him. And then the relationship switched from a carnal relationship to a spiritual one. Like when, when, when the Mashiach was talking to Kepha, Peter, they call him. You love me. He was answering with a more of a, a friendship type of a love as opposed to the agape, unconditional type of love. Because at that point, in his relationship with the Most High, he was still learning how to love him. He still was carnal. <clears throat> but there is a place in him that's a hiding place. It's a, it's a hiding place. You can hide in him. His word abide in you, you abide in him. You can ask what you will because you entered into a certain level of relationship with him. And again, it's not predicated on earthly circumstances. It's more like you're willing and ready to take on the world like they do with the Marines or something. They train these soldiers. They train these soldiers to be uh, loyal to the country, loyal to the flag, to the point of death. You got folks that's loyal to the country to the point of death, even though uh, 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 this place has been hanging them and killing them and dogging them out. And <laughs> and them same folks don't want to be loyal to the most high. Don't want to be loyal to the most high because because one, the most high don't cater to our flesh. The most high came to destroy the works of the flesh, the works of the devil. He came to set us free from the works of our flesh, our, our carnal evil nature. He came to set us free from that. Whom he set free is free indeed. And he's freeing us from that because uh, uh, the wages of our lifestyle is death. And he's trying to give us eternal life. And we get upset with him about that. Our loyalty is limited. Marriage ain't cool, so me and y'all ain't cool. My money and I ain't cool, so me and y'all ain't cool. I can't do what I want to do, so I don't want to serve him. Oh, I'm serving him and doing what he asked me to do, but things keep happening. Things keep going wrong. Folks have a tendency to throw in the towel on him when they get lonely enough, when they get horny enough, when they get mistreated enough. It takes a special individual that love the most high through thick and thin, that get out of this religious state of mind, but get into a spiritual state of mind. Uh, 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 I, 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 look at this. Uh, for, for Yah, I live and for Yah, I die. A lot of people got their verbal thing together, drawing down on him with their mouth, honoring him with their lips. But we got to get our heart in the game, y'all. Psalms 34. I will bless the most high at all times. You know what that means? Do you know what that means? If you started off your day as a prerequisite, I will bless y'all at all times. 
and then go on to say his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Do you know what circumstances one faces in life? Horror, horrific circumstances that we face in this life, painful, disappointing circumstances that we face in this life, but yet we got a prerequisite to say I will bless him at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Like people say stuff to butter you up because they want something from you and all that. Dealing with the most high is either real or nothing at all. And for you to be able to say to him, I will bless you at all times. That is necessary. An attitude of gratitude is necessary. If you really get the revelation of what he went through to win you, to get you, to rescue you. You learn to reciprocate and love him back. And with, a, with the right attitude, with the right attitude, you can really say, I will bless him at all times. I will bless him at all times. I lose a, I lose a parent. I lose a spouse. I lose a child. I lose, I lose everything. I, come on. Will you bless him at all times? Are you convinced that the creator is all you need? whole lot of people we love and won't. But, but, but if we mess around and know the importance of the most high and the beauty in the relationship, everything we got and everyone we have in our lives are gifts from him. Got to be like Job. He said, uh, uh, Adonai giveth and Adonai take away. Blessed be the name of Adonai. That's after he lost his children. He lost all of his land. He lost all of his cattle. He lost all of his wealth. He lost everything. Almost everything. Bad news after another. They was running in. Oh, this happened. This happened. This happened. This happened. Now your kids is dead. He said, I bless Adonai at all times. And his pray. Come on, somebody. Yah giveth and Yah taketh away. And I still bless him. Wife got upset and said, curse him and die when he hit his flesh. He said, woman, you sound like a fool. You sound like a foolish woman. Who, who, can, who can Psalms 34 and 1? I will bless Yah at all times. Who know him on that level? Who love him on that level? It actually, now you see the scriptures that set you up for that. Because if you mess around and love him with all your heart, my soul, and strength, you can bless him at all times. If you don't have no Elohim before him, if, if you don't have nothing or nobody in your life that you cherish more than him, you can bless him at all times. You can bless him at all times. You can bless no matter what happens. You 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 you're gonna keep an attitude of gratitude towards the most high. And it's praise. So continually, <laughs> a scripture that helps, we've looked at it. Let's look at it some more. Let's, let's keep dissecting and pulling food out. Look at this. Go to James, right? James, James 1 and 2. Excuse me, y'all. I'm, I'm starting one because we're going we're gonna to keep this point alive. I got so used to skipping the one, James 1 and 1, because how they, they put in me when I was growing up the irrelevance of the true the, the bloodline of, 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 the, of, the, of, the, of the actual real people. So, so let's start off with the real people. James, a servant of Yah, and of the Adonai, Yahushua Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. He's talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. Because of what they've been through and what they're currently going through. So he's writing to them. And he was saying, My brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. The only way that you can count it all joy when you fall into many troubles is you gotta know something. You 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 had to had been the person that tasted and concluded that the Most High is worthy, period. 
Because if you haven't, if you haven't, you can't count a joy. There's a lot of people that only know religion. They don't know the word. Yah is the word. If you don't know the word, you're religious. So when things go wrong, you can point at Yah because you don't know him. There's a lot of people that serve him and don't know him. It's a lot of people in sin thinking that they're supposed to be in sin because they've been preached that they're supposed to be in sin. They're just a sinner saved by grace. They believe in religion. They believe in religious people. They believe in a religious system. They don't, they don't know nothing about the word. And so they can't count it joy. Ain't nothing joyous about trouble unless you know the bigger picture. Unless you know him. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. In other words, there are circumstances that's happening in your life that you don't like that have the power of pulling on you, enticing you to anger or enticing you to lust trouble and problems, trials and tribulations are hitting your life. If you don't know the most high, you're going to get sick of it, potentially even get sick of him. Why me syndrome? <laughs> Might end up sounding like Job's wife, curse him and die. She was fed up. She was fed up with the circumstances. You get people that get fed up. Tired of this. It's not strange that people just say, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm done with who they call God. I'm done with God too. I'm done. Because they don't know it. My brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Look at the demographic people he was talking to. Look, look, look at the demographic. Look, look, let's look at this. We'll come back to this. But let's go to Luke right quick, y'all. I could read up some. But Luke 21, right? Look what they say. Um, I'm going to start at 19 to make it interesting, right? Look what it say. In your patience, possess ye your souls. Now, I'm really teaching about what, 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 what helps you have patience is knowing him. I'm saying that's what I'm teaching right now, right? But you, you'll wait on him if you know him. You'll turn on him if you don't. And waiting on him is you'll be able to bless him at all times. And his praise will continually be in your mouth. You have a right attitude towards the things you're going through because you know something, right? So 19, y'all. In your pa patience, possess your souls. He's talking to Jerusalem. The, the 12 tribes are scattered. That's what we're talking about. This is before the scattering. This is about the time he's telling you about to be scattered. <laughs> 21st. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed about with armies, that happened in 70 A.D. They hit it first in 66 AD. It took them like three years to, to get up in there. And they had three years to get up out of there. And the influential uh, Jews was able to get up out of there. And I use that term loosely. But the influential Jews, the Hebrews, was able to get up out of there and, 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 and slide into, start running towards uh, uh, West Africa. The majority of them ended up in West Africa, in, in Niger, nigger, or... Nigeria, nigger area, Nigeria, and the slave coast, right? But anyway, and when you shall see Jerusalem compassed about with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and, and, and let them which are in the midst of it uh, depart out, get up out of there. That's that three years they had, that window of opportunity. And let not them that are in the uh, countries enter there into it. If you're in the surrounding areas of uh, Jerusalem, you better not go about up in there. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. This is the beginning of Jacob's trouble. And the beginning of Jacob's trouble happened 
because they said, let his blood be upon us and our children. They said, crucify him, kill him. They sided with the Romans. They sided with the Sanhedrin council. The Edomite council, the, the, the converts, they sided with them and they said, crucify. So these are the days of fidgets that all things that are written may be fulfilled. But woe to them that be with child. Now, you got to understand, this happened in 70 AD. You got to understand what the last days are. The last days, you got to remember that a thousand years is the day of the most high. So the last days is at least a couple thousand years. This only happened a couple thousand years ago. <laughs> a couple days ago, a.k.a. a couple of days. Back to this. These are the days of vengeance that all things are written be, may be fulfilled. But woe to them that be with child and to them that give suck in those days. For there should be great d distress in the land and, and, and wrath upon the people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and they shall be led away captive into all nations. Here we go. They, they fled into Nigeria and they were shipped into all nations. And, and, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Who's over there now? Who's over there now? Re Revelation 2 and 9 says, I know them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Who's over there now? Who, who controls the industry? The movies, all these satanic war, satanic movies. All this, all this pedophilia and, 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 and sexual perversion. Who is controlling that? Somebody is controlling. Who controls the industry? Who controls all this gangster rap music, killing one another, and all, and everything is turning sexually sick? Who's behind that? Everyone in the industry will tell you who running the industry. If you're in the industry, it's a certain particular people. And if you look at Genesis, oh, we're going to do it then since we're here. Well, since we thumb and go to Genesis 10 right quick. We're going we, we still on course, y'all. Genesis 10. I didn't plan on doing it, but I, I asked the most high to have his way. So here we go. Look what it's at. Genesis. 10 and 1. Look what it's at. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. And the son of Japheth, that's who we're dealing with right now. The son of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Mede, Javon, Tubal, Meshesh, and Tyrus. These are the sons of Japheth. And the son of Gomer, which is the son of Japheth, Ashkenaz. Who's over there in, 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 in Jerusalem right now? Isn't it the Ashkenazis? He's a son of Japheth. He's not the son of Shem. Keep reading. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Ripheth, Togarmoth, and the sons of Javan, Elishash, Tarshish, Kittim. Look it up. That's Rome. The Romans. And Domanim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided into their lands. Everyone after his tongue, after their families, and, and, and in their nations. So the Ashkenazi Jews are Gentiles, according to Genesis. <laughs> Back to Luke. 24. And they shall fall, fall by the edge of the sword. Talk about Jerusalem. They shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. Deuteronomy 28, 68 said they would be shipped into Egypt again. Got the, <laughs> Revelations talk about Babylon and the spiritual Egypt. This is the spiritual Egypt. <laughs> Pastor Fulbright, good to see you on. 
And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down, what? Of the Gentiles. Until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Until the reign of the Gentiles is fulfilled. It's going to be snatched from them. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth, the stress of nations, the perplexity, and the sea and the sea and the uh, 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 waves roaring, men's heart felling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall you see the son of man. See, and, and when people talking about uh, the, the believers, the church is supposed to be raptured out. Whoever these folks is, they're going to be here. Because after all of this happens, then shall they see the son of man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. After this happens. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Why are you crying? Why are you going crazy? This place is wicked down here. This place is not right. Why are you losing your mind? He said, look up. And lift up your heads for your redemption draw not. We got to wear this place like a loose garment. You can't get caught up into this place. Not like that. You should be working on yourself. You should be working on your soul. You should be going through the purification process. I, I want you to come on, y'all. So back to James. We, 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 we navigate. And I'm giving you a couple of scriptures. We navigate. Let's finish navigating. Back to James, right? Starting at one again. Look, James, look who we talking to. Same people we were just reading about. A servant of Yah and of Adonai, Yahushua, Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes. This bloodline, folks, now, which are scattered abroad. I thought James was saved. I thought he was a Christian. <laughs> I thought he was a believer. Why, why, I thought, why is, he, why is he writing letters to the 12 tribes? Should he be writing it to the church? James, a servant of Yah, and of Adonai, Yahushua, Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Whoa, look who he's talking to. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations. You can count it all joy when you know your redemption draws nigh. When you know you've been called out of the darkness into the marvelous light, and, you, and you're serving the creator. You, you, you understand that all things are working together for the good to them that love Yah and is called according to his purpose. And you are now purpose driven. You're living a purpose driven life. Third verse, knowing this, you got to know when, you, when, 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 when all kind of stuff is happening, you got to know, knowing this, that the triangle of your faith work is patience. Yeah, you need patience. You need to learn to wait on the most high with an attitude of gra gratitude, though. You have need of patience. Look, back to the core scripture. Look what it says, y'all. Psalm 34 and 1. I will bless the most high at all times. I will bless Yah at all times. Elohim, our, uh, Eloheinu, our, our Elohim. I will bless Yah at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Continually. Good to see you here, Renee. Continually. You can't see the video, young lady, Felicia? I don't know why not. But continually. I pray you can't. But continually be in my mouth. Continually mean I'm not serving here based off anything else other than himself. I didn't taste it. I didn't saw that he's good. Look what the A verse say. Oh, taste and see the Yah is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Back to one. I will bless him at all times because I tasted and I saw that he was good. 
He's good in and of himself all by himself. I don't have an ulterior motive to serve him other than him. I can admit maybe when I first started, I didn't know him like that. When Peter first started, he said, feed my sheep. This after he rescued him from being backslidden. After, after the Mashiach died on that tree, uh, uh, the, the word said that, that Peter went a fishing and he took the other disciples with him. He backslid. He went back to his old occupation because he thought all, 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 all hope was lost. He thought they had killed him. He, he forgot what the scripture said. He still was in his carnal state. She I came and was over there cooking fish, and he, he was guilty. He, he ran out, pulled the, the fish to shore, ran over there to him. He said, Peter, you love me? Yeah, I love you. It's a feed, feed my sheep. He was, he was answering him to, with a carnal love, some feeler type, partner love. Because he wasn't there yet. We got to get there, y'all. We Listen to this. With the things that's over the horizon, we got to get there. We're still living in the last days. Again, a thousand years as the day to the most high. The last days is the last few, three, four, two, three thousand years. Could be just two. Two thousand plus towards three. But we're living in the last days. The day started when the Mashiach came. About 40 years, 30 something years, 40 years after he died on that tree is when Jerusalem got attacked by the Romans in 70 AD. That's when they fled. That was the beginning of Jacob's trouble. And it said it's the worst thing that ever hit the planet for them. And, and, and it won't be no other times worse than them for them. And we're still living in those times because we're still living in the last days. Folks want to say stuff like, oh, I've been hearing these the last days all my life because you come by your little seconds. You come by your little earthly seconds. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't even been here too long. According to a thousand years is one day. You got five minute folks talking about I've been hearing this all my little five minutes. We're living in the last days. And what we really need to do is look at the climate of the times. These days are wicked. Quarantine folks and coronaviruses and murders and carceral wars and rumors of wars. Death and murder, sexual perversion on an all-time high. Animals, babies, ain't nothing off limits. Nothing off limits to this perversion. We should be coming out from among them, but some of us so religiously silly, so religiously sick, we call perversion love. Oh, they got a right to love one another. That ain't love, that's perversion. Yah is love. Righteousness is love. That ain't love, that's sick. I will bless y'all at all times. Yeah, when it get rough. Not only during the good times, but during the, the trying times, during the trouble time. You cannot serve y'all just for the good times. That's what Job was trying to explain to his wife, trying to explain to his, to his friends, mainly his wife. He tried to explain to his friends he didn't do nothing wrong. Trying to explain to his wife, what, we just going to accept the most high uh, uh, for the good times? What we going to do, turn on him during the bad? When we even get married, it's for better or for worse. Because worse come. Bad stuff happen. It's ups and downs in true love, in true relationship. True love endure. Times we living in, folks can't take nothing from nobody. Divorce is on an all-time high, even in what they call the church. Because folks, the, the love of many is wax cold. Folks don't have no love. And they certainly don't love y'all. That's why they can't bless him at all times. They're going to bless him when the check come. They're going to bless him when the house come. They're going to bless him when the car come. They're going to bless him when the man come, when the woman come. Folks got trouble blessing him when he break their relationship up. 
because the relationship was killing you, driving you straight to hell, causing you to sell y'all. He's jealous and he ain't going to have nobody before him. It's bad for you. The reason why he don't want it is because it's bad for you. You can't live off their spirit. You're going to die. You need his spirit. You need him. He removed him to save your life. You get mad at him. And you can't bless him when you're mad at him for removing obstacles and folks that shouldn't be in your life out of your life. Folks get mad at him because they're horny, because they're lonely, because they need somebody to help pay the bills. No matter how satanic it is, how toxic it is. But the, but, but, but you know how the word teaches a theological position like uh, faithful are the wounds of a friend? Well, Yah is your best friend by far. You'll never have a friend like him. And he will wound you by telling you the truth. He will wound you by hurting your feelings that he might save your soul. And some folks walk away from him because their feelings is hurt because he made a move in their life uh, that, that hurt their feelings. And they more into their feelings than him. That's why the word says if you seek to save your life, you're going to lose it. You're so in love with yourself that you're going to lose your soul. You're not going to deny yourself. That's why he said if any man come after me, let him deny himself. It takes self-denial to have a relationship with him. And if you master self-denial through the power of his spirit, you can bless him at all times. And his praises, hallelujah, shall continually. My praise is not uh, predicated on if I get the check or not. If, if, if I get the car or the house or not, if I, if I get the woman or the man or not, if I get the, it's not, it's not predicated on that. It's predicated on him. I'm going to say it again. The Messiah said, I come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another should come in his own name, him you're going to receive. If someone come with their own agenda, he didn't have an ulterior agenda. He gave his life up that we might live and he did it for the father. And he did it for the love of the brethren. He didn't let his emotions and he didn't, his, his humanity get in the way. We let our humanity get in the way. We need to cut it out. That's why he told us to mortify the deeds of the flesh. He told us to kill that wickedness. You're responsible for the wickedness in you, and he gave you what you needed to kill it, and that is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yah. He baptized himself inside of you to agree with the word. He baptized inside, himself inside of you so when you read the word, he, his spirit will process the word for you. He's having, he said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear the word, open up and let it in. He said, I'll sup with you. You abide in, in my word and my word abide in you. You ask what you will. If you're abiding in the word and the word abide in you, he baptized himself inside of you. Now you abide in the word. Let the word come in and he'll process for you. He, he's making intercession for you. Breaking the word down for you. Hmm. Revealing truth to you. What well, spirit of a man knows the spirit of a man saved the spirit of the man that's in him. First Corinthians 1. A spirit of a man knows the spirit of a man. So no man knows the spirit of Yah but the spirit of Yah. You don't know Yah unless he baptized himself inside of you. You don't know the word unless he baptized himself inside of you. And when the word come in, he'll decipher it for you. Carnal mind is enmity against, against it. It's foolishness on to him. You can't know it. All in 1 Corinthians uh, 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 1. He'll reveal truth to you so you can walk in it. So you can become a new creation, new creature. When you're raised in church, you think we're all sinners and everybody sin. That's what you think because that's what you've been taught. And so ever since you thought you knew him, you've been sinning and doing it, screwing, lying, drunk, partying on top of tables, everything, spinning down poles because you didn't know. Having a form of yachting is denying the power. Well, the truth is here and it's necessary. And Daniel would say, seal up the truth to the end. What well, we in the end? Now, now it's being released. Now we got to take responsibility for our actions because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. The, the power of his word is inside of us and it's greater than the spirit of the world. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That's of the world. It's not of the father. It's of the world. 
But now we have the spirit of the most high living inside of us. And we had a greater one living inside of us that we can overcome sin. We can overcome wickedness. You mess around and get to know your creator. You fall in love with him. And you fall in love with him to the point that you don't have an ulterior motive. Your only motive is to love him. You want to reciprocate. It's not that we loved him. He first loved us. When we learn how to love him back through experience, what happened in James, y'all, when he was talking to the 12 tribes, right? And he told them to count it all joy when you fall to the divers temptation, knowing this, that the testing of your faith work is patience. The patient piece is experience. You have experience with him. You're getting to know him. You have experience with him because all the stuff that's happening to you, you're, you're, you're waiting on him and believing he's going to deliver. He's going to make a way. He's going to fix it. And when you let go and let Yah and he keep coming through, you didn't taste it and saw that he is good. Come on. You didn't taste it uh, of 34 and 8. You tasted that he's good. You, you, It's working patience. And let patience have a perfect work that you may be perfect and entire, complete, lacking nothing. So now you can understand when he said, count it all joy. When you fall in the dive temptation, count it all joy sounds like an oxymoron. But you can count it joy. Do you know I counted joy when I could have slept with her and I didn't? When, when, when I could when I could have just knocked his teeth out and I didn't, when I could have start cussing when I did, when when they treated me like a sucker, wouldn't give me my money and disrespect me, and I didn't do nothing but bless them and do it moving. Do you know how that makes me feel? I'm counting all joy when I fall in the divers' temptation, knowing this that the testing of my faith is working patient. I'm waiting on Yah to do what He gonna do. Hope He save him. Hope he fix him. Hope he change him. I'm not even cursing him. I, I, I'm not going to render evil for evil. I'm not looking for revenge. I don't want revenge on myself. All the crap I done done. So when I have opportunity to do the dummy. But I tasted the sea and found the yas yummy. To my tummy. I can bless Yah at all times. Yeah. I can bless Yah at all times. And his praise shall continually. How many of y'all got that testimony? His praise shall continue. I ain't what I ain't gonna quit. I don't want to empty evil praise. I'm cheating on my wife, drunk, high and praising him. That's an oxymoron. That's what the average person do. That's what the average church person do. And that's what they, the average church preach. Yeah, I'm gonna tell the truth. And shame the devil. I ain't going to play. That's, that's what it is. Some happy go lucky. to Uh-uh. No, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All the prophets, all the, everybody's preaching repent. It jumped off in the garden and the word has been going forth ever since to repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In fact, when all, all, all of these, this trouble is hitting the land right now, Look at here. He said, uh, lift up your head. Lift up your head. It's time to rejoice for your redemption. Draw near. Your deliverance is going to come through chaos. The most high got to tear this stuff up. Undo this, this ignorance, this evil. This wicked system got to come down till the, the time of the Gentile be fulfilled. The Gentile is running this thing. The seed, the seed of Satan is running this thing right now. The synagogue of Satan, them that say they are Jews and they're not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The seed of Cain. Cain got marked. The marked folks is here. Can this place up. But whosoever believeth, he made Abraham the father of many nations, y'all. There was always proselytes that was able to join Israel. Romans 11 chapter talked about, he warned the Gentiles saying, don't you boast against Israel. Just like the most high whooped they behind and blinded them, he'll get you too. Don't you boast against them. Don't you say they obsolete. 
replacement the, the, theology. Huh. Don't you boast against them. Get in where you fit in. And we all get in through faith. The key is faith. The key is trusting the word. The key is repentance. He's calling everybody to repentance. And it's time to repent. And if you mess around and repent and get to know him for real, one of the attributes is praise. An attitude of gratitude will change your latitude. Sure. <laughs> I will bless y'all at all times. I'm going to bless him. I don't care what's going on. I'm going to bless y'all at all times. An attitude of gratitude, y'all. I will bless y'all at all times. And his praise shall continually. Continually. I ain't talking about just good time. Continually. Keep posting, uh, Carrie. You doing it. Keep posting. Keep them coming. Continually, I will bless, come on, somebody. I will bless him at all times and his praises shall continually. Prerequisite. I'm saying that right now for tomorrow. If I don't wake up here on earth, I'm still going to be blessing him. Continually be in my mouth into eternity. I ain't no sellout and I ain't gonna bail out. Period. Yeah, I'm gonna bless. I'm gonna bless y'all at all time. Yeah, all time. All time. Some things might happen here. Look at this. Look at this. We've been men doing for, for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Mm -hmm. Patience. I'm waiting for the joy in the morning. But I might be crying tonight, but I'm still blessing him. He's still worthy. Through the tears, he's still worthy. I still love him. I still respect him. I'm going to be obeying him and blessing him. In closing, because he said, obedience is better than sacrifice. And to hearken than the fat of the round. Sacrifice is a sacrifice of praise. Obedience is better. He, doesn't, he don't like our praise when we're walking in disobedience. That's why we got to line up. Come on. We got to line to Rosenthal. I'm trying to tell him. We got to line up. We got to line up. We got to repent. We got to repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, y'all. This is not a game. This is a proving ground for us. And if you mess around and start being proven to really love him, no matter what's going on, knowing this, you can count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations because you know something, knowing this, that the triangle of your faith is working patience and let patience have a perfect worth as you may be perfect and entire lacking nothing. I'm ready. I'm a blessing because he's the one going to bring me through. He's the one that's going to bring me through. No weapon formed against you going to prosper. It's not going to work. You got a reason knowing this. You got to know what's going on. Do you know that he's still worthy? Not only is he worthy. I'm finna go, y'all. But not only is he worthy, he's worth it. That's a whole nother level right there. Not only is he worthy, but he worth whatever I got to go through to get to him. Hallelujah. Bless your name, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, y'all. Thank you. Thank you through the good times, through the bad. You're not only the Elohim of the mountaintop, but you're the Elohim of the valley. Hallelujah. You're, 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 you're the Elohim in the midst of the fiery furnace. You meet us in the midst of the flames. Hallelujah. We love you and we thank you. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Continue. Continue to do what only you can do in our lives. And we be careful of you to praise and honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name Yahusha, we celebrate hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. That was the lesson for this evening. We pray that the word found you and you got a praise on your breath. Hope your breath smell like praise uh, this evening, no matter what you're going through.
No matter no matter what you're going through, I'm telling you this. If you're serving him, no weapon formed against you going to prosper. I don't care about a c coronavirus. I don't care nothing about uh, uh, wars and rumors. None of that means anything to me. See, all things work together for the good to them that love y'all, and it's called according to his purpose. You walking in your call, you walking in your purpose, man, death it better run from you because death ain't nothing but your door into eternity of peace and praise. <laughs> you ain't got to be scared of no devil. You stand bold. You stand bold. When you live righteously, you're bolder than a lion. You stand bold on truth. And you be like Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. What I talked this morning, if y'all didn't hear it, go hear it. What I talked this morning, don't dance to the music is the name of that one. But they weren't even careful to answer the king concerning selling out. Man, I, man be quiet. Nebuchadnezzar, ain't nobody tripping off what you talking about. I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to let you know right now that, listen to this, sir. He going to deliver us out of your hand. But I want you to know even equally as important, if he don't, we still ain't serving what you talking about. We with him till the wheels fall off. And because of him, they ain't going to fall off. Give him a praise because he worthy. Hallelujah. If you was blessed by the lesson, feel free to push the share button. Push the share button, y'all. Push the share button. Um, yeah. If you supported this ministry, may the most high continue to bless you. If you'd like to become a financial supporter of this ministry because the word is blessing you, never sow into a ministry that you're not growing from. That's me saying that. Why? But if you're growing from the ministry and the most high is leading you to be a supporter of this ministry, I'll tell you how. If you got the cash app, all you got to do is pull in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. Dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Or you also can support the ministry through Facebook. There's a, Through Messenger. There's a little dollar sign at the bottom inside of Messenger. You can click on that and support the ministry. I pray the word is blessing you. I really do. And I pray that you continue to grow in him. I pray you do. Please grow in him. Please let go of religion and get true relationship. And... Um, and he gonna he gonna he gonna do marvelous things through you and to you. You gonna love it. He gonna do some great things to you, and he definitely gonna do some marvelous things through you as well in these last evil days. Stay encouraged. Um, we'll be back on on uh, tomorrow at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, I believe we're fasting. Coles need to call me. And let me know. Um, but I, I believe we're fasting. If not, we start tomorrow. I'm a little confused. At seven, I know we start at seven. If we're on now, then we on now. And and but if not, we're we're we're, we're starting tomorrow. I'm gonna post it on my page on, on on what's going on. But um, I got cotton mouth. I show prayers tomorrow. <laughs> but y'all continue to pray for me, um, as I pray for you and stay encouraged in Him. Is that all right? Uh, y'all be Baruch and Brock Shalom. I'm gone.